Trying to get to China. <laughs> See right there? Look at that water just pouring up out of that spot. And this gravel is amazing. I've never really seen it so small and compact. You can see the layer right there above the clay, and it's just packed with gravel. We are dealing with hurricane force winds. They just blew a bucket over. I'm down here, squatted down by the wash tub to try to take shelter. We've got tornado warnings, we've got hailstorms blowing in. dig a hole by myself I found some gravel about five and a half feet down I'm gonna get what I can it's just a small strip and sometimes that's the best stuff because it was left over from the early miners and they pretty well have cleaned this place out since they've been digging out here for the last 40 years thousands of holes have been dug and if you can find that small strip of gravel it could be a really good payday if you'd like to see more videos like this be sure and drop a thumbs up let's head over to the east drain gonna be by the snake pit and get to digging okay i got out here a little late it's about 8 30. i'm getting everything ready to go dig my hole get my custom tools get everything i need buckets hey okay, got the wagon ready to go we got buckets got the slat board get the mud off the shovels long handle shovel my fork short handle shovel and my custom tools to help get the gravel and break up the ground all right here's the spot I've been probing for about 10 minutes and right here where my probe holes are at there's no gravel here there's no gravel here there could be but it's too deep to get but to my probe I hit gravel about five feet down and it's just right here you can see where I outlined my hole that's the gravel We can all team up if you want a bucket. Yeah. That's some good but stuff. Get a little bit of this and I'll definitely help you. There's just a little strip I'm chasing this like. Somebody dug a deep hole here and they dug, they cleaned it out over here. There's just a little piece of gravel. Sometimes that's the good stuff, you know. If you want, I mean, it's a lot of work. Oh, that's all right. That's what I need, bro. See, let us get a little bit of this. You get going and I'm going to come. I'll, I'll take over and get you uh, get more. Yeah, you can get you a bucket out of it. Okay, yeah. We'll do <laughs> Definitely that. be worth it. Yeah. To be solid rock. The one bucket. If you get a two carat, you gotta give me a tip. Huh? <laughs> if you get a two carat, you... if I get one, I'll, I'll tip you. Yeah, give you a tip. I got you. When you get over there, we'll handshake on it. That'll be about 10 grand, you know, minimum for a two carat. <laughs> two? Yeah. Yeah, I checked out some of your uh, videos. Oh, okay. I appreciate that. Let me grab Watch my you. gloves and I'll help you. Cool, man. I'm Jason, by the way. Cody. Cody, nice to meet you, Cody. Nice to meet you, Jason. Hey, Rob over here. <laughs> hey, Rob? Yep. Nice to meet you, sir. Yep. Well, you're on YouTube, Cody. <laughs> oh, I actually have it kind of pointed down where nobody would see you like. Brother, what do you want me to do? Oh, if you want to, you can just, uh, well, we got to put the dirt like right. Hey, you go here, I'm seeing I'm making a box. Yep. Got you. See my line. So uh -huh. we just take the loose dirt and kind of, you don't want it too far because you got to put it back in the hole. Yes. Yeah. All right, I talked this tourist into helping me dig. I'm gonna go take a break. He's gonna do all the work. I'll catch back with everybody later. See you in about five hours. <laughs> all right, so far we've got about a foot down. Coming across a lot of roots, which is really good, meaning nobody's been here for a good 15 years probably. 10 years.
All right, we come across some water in this hole, so now I'm gonna have to get the buckets and bucket the material and get it out of here. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. If I can get out of the hole. We've been at it for a couple hours. We've got about two and a half feet to go. and We'll be at the gravel. You see right there? Look at that water just pouring up out of that spot. That's not good when we got that. Now we're going to be fighting water like crazy. Is. I feel like some big rocks over there. Maybe we're gonna try to plug this thing. Yeah, plug that home. That one's coming out over here, coming out over there. Yeah. Anytime you got that much water. Yeah. But we're got like maybe a foot to go. About a foot to go. Hold word with all yeah. the water. It's easy, everyone do it. You say the whole thing if it's easy, it ain't worth it. If it's worth it, it ain't easy. Cheers, YouTube. Hope you enjoy it. See you, Micah. You want to hand me that probe? Yeah, I think it's uh, there. Right there. Damn, she's two foot. Man, that's right. This plays bad. We got a rock. I think that's our rock. She's Jasper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, how did, how did this get here? <laughs> Tattoo. Alright, let's tell some water. Get this back. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Trying to tell us this water. Take a breather. You got somebody behind you. Watch out. Howdy. You guys going to build a house or something out here? Going to China. Trying to get to China. We heard that closer than we were at the ground level. 
Is anybody down in that deep? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is where he says they find I've reached the gravel, just got to pal out five or six buckets of water, clean up a little bit, and we'll be getting gravel about four and a half feet right now. Lunch time's about over. I've been pelling out water. It's just constantly filling up the hole. You can see all the roots just hanging around. That's a good sign. We even had some really large roots that were at least 15 years old. I've been pelling out the water the best I can while I'm waiting for my helper to get back. I've been using my probe. I'll hook it through the bucket handle and then I'm able to pull it up with that other end. I normally have a rope really nice rope knotted up but the ropes in my truck but the probes working good for pelling out the water all right down here getting some gravel looking pretty good really small compact there. down in the hole and this gravel is amazing i've never really seen it so small and compact you can see the layer right there above the clay and it's just packed with gravel it's all the way around this hole we've got about four buckets filled i want to keep going Been at it all day. Finally hit the gravel. Got 16 buckets filled up. Some of the best gravel I've seen in a long time. Looks like some uh, lamp right. All right, got 19 buckets out. This hole is done. See the water just dripping in. We've been fighting water the whole time. Oh, look at that. Woo! We'll cave in. Just in time. I was just in there. Whew, that's about 900 pounds that it fell on me. I'm back at the diamond mine. It's a rainy day. We've got the 19 buckets out of the hole. I'm going to try to get those 19 buckets washed today and get some centers, get everything centered up out here at the crater. That way, if we do have a diamond, I can go ahead and get it registered. I won't have to, uh, you know, go home and find my diamond and then come back and get it registered. I want to find the diamond while I'm here, get it registered, and be done with it. I have a feeling it's going to be over two carats, so let's keep our fingers crossed. The rain is coming down. I'm trying to get out here before the rain hits because this path right here alone will be so muddy that you can't even get out here this road used to be rocks and even the road going down to the east drain was rocks they messed all that up out here to where we can't even hardly pull a wagon yeah it's getting pretty bad out here the way the main the, the way the park's being maintained it's a joke they're making it harder and harder for everybody to find diamonds and that's just messed up you know i may have to go to colorado and start getting my diamonds yep the storm is here i'm gonna work my way to the south wash hopefully i can get there and not get struck by lightning they're washing out the tub there's larry taylor he's always finding diamonds right there at the washout He'll just work that material and find diamonds that they're washing out of the tubs. She's got a flashlight. Illegal. But the crater won't mess with her. If I had a flashlight, they would probably break the damn thing and tell me to get out of the park. Well, it looks like I got the whole south wash to myself. Not a single soul. You know, yesterday there's about 900 people. I don't think we're going to get that today out here. It might be a slow day. 
the storm is moving in quick though those clouds are just blazing by hopefully it won't be much all right i'm at the south wash i'm just gonna set up here no need to set up my wash tub today get under here where it's a little safer here comes the rain just in time Whew. just in time oh, my backpack over here they've got these hooks under the uh pavilion these wash station you hook your bag hang your bag up over here on these hooks of course today i'll probably want to get more in the center that way i don't get wet this out here is the best place to set up because the sun is shining along this edge you know the sun travels that way Woo! and here comes the rain just in time got under here just in time we are dealing with hurricane force winds they just blew a bucket over there was a bucket playing there and the wind is so strong it knocked the bucket off i mean look at this just about blew off Woo look at all this rain it's just pouring I must be the only crazy person out here nobody else can do it nobody else can hang I'm down here squatted down by the wash tub to try to take shelter we've got tornado warning We've got hell storms blowing in. I'm at the Crater of Diamonds. This is awesome. It needs to do this for like three hours and we'll get gravel moving. Unreal. It's coming down good now. About lost my hat. About made the mop pop out of my hat you gotta have my hat would have just hair you just all you see is hair on the screen so you gotta have my hat this shouldn't last long they're talking about an hour or two i'm gonna let this pass and get to my cage and start bringing buckets over here to the wash station and get washed nice clean water too just for me Woo, man Oh, that's got to suck, carrying all this stuff in the rain. Nice to have a wagon out here. I think I survived the storm. My hair got wet, but it seems to be finally clearing up. Time to get those buckets out, get them washed. It's 9 o'clock. I've been under this wash station for like an hour, waiting for the rain to clear up. The lightning has been really bad, so it's not very smart to be out there right now like if one guy was, but you know, you can't fix stupid. It's 9.30. The rain has finally let up to where I can get out here and not get soaking wet. That temperature really dropped. It was like 65 this morning. It's at least 55, 60 right now. It's cooled off a lot. A little windier but anyways yeah time to get my cage unlocked Gotta get everything unlocked here ah i'm gonna do that yeah gotta get this unlocked and you gotta move this 20 times and it will finally 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. You gotta get all these buckets out. We got so much stuff packed in here like sardines. Definitely takes a lot of equipment to increase your odds. Since I had a late start of the rain hitting hard and don't want to get soaking wet i'm going to get these eight buckets i already got four hauled up to the wash tub 
I'm gonna take these four, get them washed and centered up and see what we got. All these down here are from the James Archer gravel, but everything on the second level and up is from the hole. And I guarantee it, we're gonna see some diamonds, possibly over one carat. Even over on the east drain, they could take all those, all the tailing piles, instead of let, letting it come back into the field where we got to rework it. But that's where I've looked at the same rock two or three times in my wash tub. Take all this material and spread it along these roads so we can at least, at least get out here. Wow, that lightning is still lightning. I'm gonna get. That's kind of nice. Half full, not so bad, but half the material. All right. Eight buckets I'm going to get done today because such delayed on getting set up. I'm not sure how well this is going to wash. It should wash a lot easier versus other gravel layers that I have dug in because I didn't see all the clay like all the gravel wasn't packed together with huge bolts. Sometimes we're pulling out just big rocks and a bunch of little rocks. So this time it's just a bunch of little rocks and a few big rocks, which is going to be awesome. I'm hoping to see a lot of spinel. I'm not far from where I found the spinel layer where my centers are just black and white. It looks like salt and pepper. My digging partner from Florida got his first diamond out of that out of that hole. He had 14 buckets, I got 14 buckets roughly, and he had a flawless six point diamond. And it was some amazing gravel. I'm hoping I'm in that same area. I'm not far from it, but the gravel changes every two to four feet. So maybe we're still in it. And it's been about a week since I dug this hole. I was cramping up bad. It could be my last hole to dig unless there's about three or four hardworking people. Um, it's just, I've dug so many holes by myself out here. It's starting to wear me out and my elbows. When I'm down there shoveling, my arm just wants to, to stay like that and it's not good. So this place will really beat you down digging those deep holes. Let's get a bucket in there. Here we go. Bucket number one. A lot of clay in this one. I don't expect to see a whole lot of gravel. Every bucket is going to be a little different. Okay, this might be some tough scrubbing stuff. Uh, can you get it to come out of the bucket? Uh, you don't want to lose any material, that's for sure. That could be your diamond. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. This is really a bucket full of mud, and it's amazing. A bunch of clay. Those diamonds are in the clay. This stuff is just stuck in there like I say this, these buckets have been in my cage for a week oh man this stuff is awesome look at all that gravel just pouring out of my bucket look at that stuff look at that rock nice chunk of Jasper I'm gonna set this to the side I like to take a piece out and I'll let it dry and see if it bleaches we don't want it to bleach out turn white and keep its original color, that means it's some really good, rich diamond ore. Okay, just about got this bucket cleaned out. It's just packed in there like concrete. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm ready to see a big diamond guy. Get my two carat nut. Get the Ivan's diamond. Diamond miner Ivan's diamond. I think that's, yeah, the diamond miner Ivan's diamond. I was gonna call it the about time diamond, but or the about effing time. 
We spend a lot of money out here, folks. Us regulars, you know, the tourists spend a lot of money as well, but we spend more. We're renting their cages they offer and, you know, buying water hose, 400 feet of water hose and buckets and shovels and, you know, you're breaking your equipment and classifiers that don't break will cost you about four or $500. You know, you can go buy that $20 stuff. Eventually it's gonna wear out and break. I mean, that's just the, what, what wood does you know wood eventually will rot out the screws are going to snap or something or you can just wash your quarter of a bucket at a time and you should be fine okay got it all out of there always clean your buckets real good that way they don't stick to each other people wonder why their buckets are stuck that's because they had a bunch of mud around the rim and at the bottom you got to get all that off the same way as the inside you got to rub all that out of there it's going to stick not rocket science i was about to start washing and i noticed this jasper looks really pretty like a little ball like a ball it's just uh, different. Not bad. Looks pretty good. Man, look at all this gravel. Look at all that red jasper. Oh my gosh, this stuff is. <sighs> oh my gosh, we're gonna have some big diamonds, guys. We got big diamonds. Oh my god, this top screen is loaded with small gravel. Look at this. Look at that piece of agate. I already saw a small piece of agate and another one loaded with agate. That's exactly what we want. Lots of agate, lots of conglomerate, lots of red jasper. All the colors of jasper. You want to see all those like, according to the crater, there's 46 colors, but I think there's going to be more. It's hard to really pinpoint exactly how many colors. There's just so many different colors of jasper. I don't think you can really count them all. I know I've seen more than 46 colors. Oh my God, listen. Listen to that. Oh, baby. We're gonna, get, we're gonna need to get the other camera out on this one. Get some better, some good quality image. Rub-a-dubby. That's the sound you wanna hear right there. If you don't hear that, you don't have gravel seeing some agate showing up that's a really cool piece multiple colors and here's another piece good piece of agate right there Take a look at all that red jasper. I'm seeing everything. Conglomerate. Here's a piece of conglomerate right there. There's another piece of conglomerate. Let's take a look at the bottom classifier. Here is the bottom classifier. You can see all the material it is a lot different than what we're used to seeing. bottom classifier of the first bucket and this gravel is way different than I normally see I don't see any barite but I'm seeing the dark indicators that I like to see like spinel hematite and magnetite and this was the first bucket it didn't have many rocks in it so let's take a look at some other buckets they're probably gonna have a lot more heavy minerals for sure.
bucket left. We just had a rain hit again. Really windy. Sorry for the wind noise. I got my bucket of all my rocks I'm gonna take home. Some really cool gravel. This stuff is loaded with conglomerates. A few pieces of agate, several large pieces of quartz crystals. So it's really good gravel. Here's the concentrates. I'm seeing some spinel. There's a nice little shiny stone right there. But, you know, we don't have that huge white ring. Sometimes that's not what you want. You want these darker rocks could be even better if it's magnetite and hematite and spinel. You're going to get some good diamonds out of that. That's even heavier than the quartz calcite. All right, getting set up. I got 11 buckets to wash today. And that'll be all of the buckets from the hole. 19 total. Yep, that's it. All the buckets. Those are from the James Archer gravel. I got like, forgot how many I got, but there's a six left. Oh, there's like 19 on that one also. I got six left, but anyways. And here's the gravel. It's a little bleached out, but not too bad. Like that one there, it's not really bleached, but some of it is. You get this one wet, it'll turn like a, let me spit on it. You can see how it's now like a light brown. And that's the bleachy. But not all of it's bleached, which is good. I've dug in holes where it all looks like that. And that's the stuff you do not want. So there's the top classifier. And here's the cons. Really different type heavies in this gravel layer so we're just gonna have to get everything centered up and see what kind of heavies and hopefully see some diamonds getting set up this morning i was walking over here and i noticed an agate somebody threw down i guess they didn't want this one looks like one of you will win it in the giveaway cool come out of that hole lots of hematite magnetite and spinel so we should be seeing a diamond it's time to get back to texas and see what we got in the centers i got out here at eight o'clock this morning and it was no longer muddy those maintenance guys could have came out here with that box blade and scraped this down for everybody this is starting to become a joke out here we have no roads to get our wagons around every time you come out here when it's muddy you're fighting your wagon wearing out our bodies just to try to get out here and find a diamond it's becoming a joke round number one centers from the hole and as you can see these centers aren't like what we normally see working the field that's a center all that right there is a center nothing but hematite magnetite spinel this one here on the end this one has a really nice garnet right there. See right there at the end of my finger. Right there. I mean, that thing is just amazing. So we're seeing garnets. So that's a good indicator, seeing a garnet. We could definitely see a diamond. We got one more bucket to work and we have a diamond out of the hole round number two there's the centers i let everything dry really good and i was at this one right here 
checking out this garnet right there. I'm not sure if y'all can see that garnet right there. And I looked right over here. I'm gonna let you try to find the diamond first. Yep, right there, tip of my finger. That is a diamond. Let's get the spoon and scoop it up. Diamond number 43. And it's right there. All right, we got it in the spoon. Yep, that is a diamond. Maybe a 15 point, 12 point. And there it is on the tip of my fingers. It's got some really good clarity. It's definitely chewed up, but it's really, really pretty. It is a really pretty diamond. Picking that out, I noticed right in here, right there at the tip of my finger, the small green rock, some chromium dioxide. Doesn't look like a peridot, but there is peridot out here. That's definitely the chromium dioxide. Everything we want to see to find diamonds is definitely in this diamond ore. And here's my 43rd diamond. Here's the card you get. 13 point, I guess the 15. Getting better at it. There it is under the microscope. That's how they determine if it's a real diamond and resorbed. And it'll get really big so they can really tell because a lot of people try to scam them. Now it's time to test it with my UV light and see if it's going to fluorescent any type of colors. They can be blue, orange, green. I'm sure there's other colors, reddish, but most of my diamonds have been blue. And not all Arkansas diamonds will glow under a UV light. All right, let's go ahead and test the diamond. I'm going to turn the light off. Yep, it's a green. Looks like this one's green. Definitely a green look to it. I'm going to turn the other light off. And we'll take a better look at it. All the lights are off. And as you can see, it definitely has a green look to it under the uv light i love how these diamonds can glow it's picked up some fluorescent minerals is what gives it that fluorescent glow and some of these will stay glowing let's test this one and see if it'll keep glowing in my last video we seen the diamond from tater island it kept glowing when I would turn my UV light off, that thing would glow for almost one minute. All right, here it goes. Oh, you know what? It's not dark enough. Okay, let's test it now and see if it's gonna hold a charge and keep glowing when I turn the UV light off. Sometimes they keep glowing most will just glow for a second to a half a second. But that diamond from Tater Island, it'll glow for almost one minute after turning off the UV light. It's an amazing discovery. All right, here it goes. Yep, see this one doesn't glow. That's the light, the background light. There's a link in the description below. You can click on it and get you a light ordered all types of minerals fluorescent even fossils will fluorescent 
have a couple videos coming out soon with some fossils that are glowing orange using this same light. That's the entire crater, over 200 acres. This is the search field right there. I dug my last hole right over in here. And it definitely looks like I'm in the lamp right.